Raiders defensive end Carl Nassib is receiving praise from those in the league and beyond, including David Copay. Copay was the first professional athlete in a major sport to come out as gay. That was back in 1975, and it was after his nine-year NFL career had ended. He's a hero. I mean, he's a hero to millions of people. And um, you have to be really comfortable with who you are when you do something like that. You know, it's the time in this world where it doesn't, it doesn't going to mean much anymore. And, and it's, that's the way it should be, you know. We don't choose to be gay. We're born that way. Born into a devout Catholic family in 1942, Copay always wanted to play football. And in 1964, he made the San Francisco 49ers as a rookie free agent running back. It takes nerves and it takes guts to be uh, on a football team. I don't know what I would do without it. It gave me a, a sense of self and a sense of masculinity. When he got to Washington in 1969, Copay says only a handful of people knew he was gay and accepted him for who he was. One of them was legendary head coach Vince Lombardi. Coach Lombardi traded for me. He didn't trade very high draft choices, but he traded to get me. And, um, and, and he knew I could play. Coach Lombardi I absolutely, I believe, knew to this day that I was gay. He had a gay brother. The man for whom the Super Bowl trophy is named always treated him with respect, but the same couldn't be said for many of his teammates. Well, they were jerks, you know what I mean? They, they were ignorant and they were stupid, you know? But, and they wouldn't, they never confronted me, you know, because if they did, I'd have kicked the crap out of them. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when Copay came out, the outpouring of support was overwhelming. He received thousands of letters from people just like him, thanking him. So many people wrote to me saying, Dave, you saved my life. You, I, I, you, you became my savior. You, you did everything for me. It was amazing. And I, and I knew then that I was really doing the right thing and, and doing something special. And he says what Nassib did this week will also change lives for this generation. I think that's a miracle. I think it's so wonderful too. And to have the self-esteem to be able to do that is, is incredible. Copay turns 79 next week and continues to spend his days fighting for LGBTQ rights.